of St. Louis and Nashville, who are both now suddenly again after being left for dead, knocking on the door of the West Wild Card, does one, both, or neither of these teams get in? Well, I still think Colorado catches them, so or passes them, so that that means then they would have to. Knock Colorado's two technically teams. leading that in points yeah. percentage. Well, they're tied with they're Nashville. tied with Nashville. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say neither. I agree, but I was surprised. Like it's so hockey. Like it is peak hockey that O'Reilly and Tarasenko are out of the lineup, and those teams that team goes four and one. Yeah, I told you. We said, hey, you look at the at the Blues. They, the Pittsburgh Penguins are the poster boys for doing this year after year. Remember when Crosby and Muck, Crosby was getting hurt all the time, unfortunately. Well, not all the time, but he had those concussion and whiplash issues for basically parts of three straight seasons. And Malkin's like, okay, I'll step up. And then if Jenny Malkin's, you know, missed 20 games here or there and other guys, and then they just step up and they've done it for like, not once time. They've done it almost every year, or every second year. It's crazy. So, so we've a, seen a respected team. I was going to say a respected team executive texted me the other day and said, not only do they think that David Poyle in Nashville is not going to sell now, but he also thinks if Nashville gets in, they're going to be a tough out. What do you make of that? We like when I said left for dead, we were already picking at the carcass on the trade deadline front as sellers for both St. Louis and Nashville. Well, you see Saros makes them can make him a hard out. I think he's that good. I put him in the top five goaltenders and th that helps you. But the reason why I don't agree with that, I don't think that Nashville in the NHL today where offense reigns, I don't think they have the game breakers offensively. Like Roman Yossi is really good, but he's a defenseman. And when I put them up, whether they're making a wild card or they're going up against the other teams, you know, they, they don't have the elite offensive guys. Like everybody had a career year. It seemed in Nashville last year, Frank, you know, Duchesne, like I like Philip Forsberg. I really like him as a player, but I don't put him. He's not a McKinnon or a Rantanen, right? I, I don't think he's a Kaprizov. But that's why I, I would give I honestly, the Preds the advantage over the blues. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a Jordan Bennington believer. Okay. So you could argue that varying parts parts of the blues are better structured, better depth than the Preds. But I, I don't know. I if I were to if I had to pick one of the two to get in, I would say Nashville. And Mike McKenna on our show the other day was arguing St. Louis. Well, the blues are giving up, man. Aren't they like <laughs> seventh or eighth most goals against per game i gotta look it up again but I it's know high really and their goal differential is pretty high minus 18 yeah, yeah so um okay so yeah, i got a I third question for you be honest because colorado is going to pick up and look at edmonton's schedule the next month 